video one, we outlined what adrenal fatigue is, how it affects the body, and we talk a lot about the controversy that surrounds whether it exists or not. Um, go back and watch video one to have context to what we're going to talk about in video two. I'm going to jump right in it. Remember, adrenal fatigue is if you get pale skin, you're very, very tired and lethargic for long durations, you know, 60, 90 days, maybe even up to a year. Um, you're having confusion, brain fog, sleepless nights, but can't stay awake during the day. If you stop moving and stay in one place at any one time, you can fall asleep. These are things that usually accompany this. Um, you'll have digestive upsetness. Um, you're going to have a lot of issues. Blood sugar imbalances, so your sugars are going to start dropping on you randomly. Okay, These are the things that come along with this. Now, it, it, just real quick, remember, adrenal fatigue is not adrenal insufficiency where you have no cortisol. It's an imbalanced circadian rhythm. Okay, So I want to show you how in some simple steps you can reverse this this system where you're not producing any cortisol during the day and you're producing a lot at night, or you're someone that all of it's gone low, okay? Uh, and in order to do that, one of the best ways is to get a test on it first. We do not want a blood test on cortisol. One spot test for cortisol that does not tell us what's happening dynamically throughout the day. That's just silly, okay? So a urine or spit test, many great practitioners have them out there, functional practitioners, um, a lot of OBs will do it, endocrinologists will do it. Our dietetics team does it here at Nutrition Dynamic. Uh, I like Dutch tests the most, and you're going to be able to see your curve throughout the day so you can see where you need to help yourself the most, okay? Um, so that's the first thing I recommend, all right? Secondly, all right, you need to work a process in order to get rid of adrenal fatigue. You can't do any one thing. Good luck. It ain't going to work, so stop trying. Oh, I'm just going to do this one thing. It's not going to happen. We challenge you to do a couple of these things. Any three should get it done in a 90-day period. That means I challenge you to a 90 and 90. Any couple of these things, you're going to pick it out and you say, I'm going to do that one time for 90 days. Not 90 times in one day, one time in 90 days, being consistent, okay? So let's break down what some of these things are. Deload cycles. So for you that are dieting aggressively or are in an, a prep situation, here's the problem. If you're grinding really hard and you're already in the thick of it and you can't back out, then your coach or you need to discuss taking like weekends or three day cycles off in your training. Or you go two weeks really aggressive and then do a light week, okay? You've got to build in training deloads into your program, okay? If you keep hitting it hard and just train more and more and more, or you're a runner and you run more and more and more, you're never gonna fix this. You're missing the point. You've been doing too much already, okay? And for you people out there that think that you're gonna be able to go to school, work 70 hours, train three hours a day, and everything's gonna work all right, all right? I'm sorry, you got another thing coming. You need to choose what you're gonna back down for a minute, collect yourself, and then figure out how to reorganize your life so you don't crash and burn again. Adrenal support, I can't stress this enough, okay? This makes all this happen so much faster. The key ingredient to fixing adrenal fatigue is adrenal bovine glandular. Now, it's been removed of cortisone because you don't want cortisone. If your doctor offers you cortisone to fix adrenal fatigue, do not accept it. It's going to blow out your adrenals, okay? Uh, you'll feel good for a couple of days, but then you're going to go into depression because that blows out dopamine, uh, norepinephrine. It is no good. It's like taking prednisone. Do not do that. you got to fix it the natural way, and, and you're going to have to do that with hard work. So adrenal bovine glandular is one of the keys. We put it in our product, Adrena Health. This is a game changer. Take two twice daily, support the process through. You want to nourish the adrenal glands with bovine glandular. Next up, high fat surplus days. Fat foods like avocados, MCTs, um, almonds, they have nutrients that, that nurture the adrenal glands. When, when I'm cutting somebody, okay, or if you're someone who just doesn't eat very much, start eating more food, get your fats up. But if I got someone I'm in a cut, when I give them weekend refeeds, okay, or I give them um, mini surpluses, so I might cut them hard for two weeks, then I build them out for a week, the key macro that goes up is fats. I'll get fats up to 100 grams, 150 grams, 175 grams. I'm not afraid. The body's not going to gain from that if I'm doing things right. It's going to saturate them, and it's going to help nourish the adrenal glands. Stabilize your eating habits. And if you're in severe adrenal fatigue, your glucocortico 
balance is off. Your adrenal glands help support blood sugar stability. If your sugars get off because you're adrenal fatigued, then what you need to do is eat small meals throughout the day to help, to help the body steady itself, okay? Wake sleep timing. Netflix has got to go, okay? You've got to choose a time. I'm going to get up at 7 a.m. every day. I'm going to go to bed at 9, making sure you're getting 8 to 10 hours of sleep. The more sleep you get, the faster this goes away, all right? But pick that time whenever. If you're saying, Vince, I can only sleep for six hours, then fine. You go to bed at the same time, and you wake up at the same time no matter what every day, and your body's circadian rhythm will adapt to that. It'll read what you're doing, and your body will help you. Next up, parasympathetic stimulus. All right, this one's huge. People that are dealing with mega stress in their life, relationship issues, job issues, all right, socioeconomic issues, you're producing so much corticotropin releasing hormone in your brain, it's triggering cortisol to produce. It's like drinking caffeine all day. Your body responds to what your brain thinks. So most people de-stress by stressing the body out more. Sitting and watching TV, playing on social media, going and working out more, running your stress off, actually adds cortisol to a cortisol problem, all right? So most of you got adrenal fatigue by overdoing, abusing something, and now you wanna go back and do it more. It's like you got Munchausen syndrome when it comes to workouts. You keep going back to your abuser. You gotta let go of that for a little bit. You'll come back to it, relax, it's not going anywhere. But you gotta back up off of it for a minute, okay? And what you gotta do is start parasympathetically stimulating your body. Parasympathetic activities are yoga, walks in, in nature, 20-minute uh, stretch session, breathing sessions, guided imagery, journaling. If you're having mental issues, stress issues related to something going on in your life, even just counseling, things like that, that'll actually help. Fellowship at your local church, those things will really help. We're key on that. At Nutrition Dynamic, we make you pick two tension relief techniques that you have to do every day and then report that to us to make sure that you're doing it. Remember, a 90 and 90. Vitamin therapy, this is big. All right, vitamin C, three grams a day. Selenium, 90 micrograms a day. Big dose of vitamin B5, vitamin B6. B6 is a huge one. You've got to get that in your body. That stimulates the communication between the hypothalamus and the adrenals to start naturally producing the right amount of cortisol. Um, I recommend about 90 milligrams, too, of inositol. That's really big, about... Um, 30 to 90 micrograms of zinc. You've got to mega dose these things for a while. Vitamin C being the number one, okay? Dr. Uh, uh, Wilson um, has an adrenal stress formula that's really good there. I like that. Detox stimulants. I hate to break it to you. You're already tired, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what? You need to get rid of those stimulants because they're keeping you tired. Yeah, I said it. So if you're already tired, Vince, I can't go on without my coffee. I'm sorry, get rid of the coffee and then when you detox from it in 72 hours and oh, by the way, processed food, people that get really adrenal fatigued, their sugars are doing this, so you get cravings. So now those people are wanting to eat sugary foods, processed sugary foods, that's making it worse. When you already don't have glucose stability and then you go eating high glycemic index foods that shoot up insulin and glucose, you're making your fatigue worse. It's like eating McDonald's, getting all happy and high for five minutes and then being super depressed when you're done. That's what's happening here, okay? So you gotta detox from these things. To make this go very quickly so you don't have very many headaches and you get over the caffeine, detox formulas work well for this. Our MetaPure will help you get rid of caffeine addiction very quickly, okay? Um, headaches and stuff maybe only last 48 hours, all right? Maybe a touch of green tea to get you through, but that's what you have to do. All right. You need to pick any three of these things all right, and do them together for 90 days. Again, if you're already in a dietary cut, you need to be thinking about how to maybe, if you've been taking that stuff for over 60 days, it ain't working no more anyways. You're just putting more crap in your body. So these are the keys. I hope you enjoy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to train them early in the week, all right? cut into their calories, going to caloric de surplus, uh, deficit, but then I'm giving them three days off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and guess what I'm doing with those fats? I'm raising them, okay? I'm hitting them with large dose vitamin therapy, um, and, and I'm working all this system. I'm 